if you look at a horizontal line, we know it's going to go this way on a graph. And we need to figure out what the equation would be in slope-intercept form. So in the form y equals mx plus b. And what does m refer to? Slope. This good. This is the slope. And the b is the... Y-intercept. Good. Okay, well, this is easy to see. If we just look at the graph, can you figure out where the y-intercept is? Yeah, it's that. Good. So it's right here. So in this example, the line intercepts at positive 10. So we know that it's going to have a y-intercept of 10. Mm -hmm. We also need to figure out what is the slope of this line. Well, we can count. Remember, you can pick any two points on a line and count the rise and the run. Yeah. Okay. So let's say we pick this point and this point. And I want to know what is the slope. Well, I know slope is equal to rise over run. Okay. Does this line have a rise if it's horizontal? Does it rise? No. No, so the it's rise would be around. zero. Yeah. And yeah, technically it has a run, right? We can mm -hmm. we can count across. One, two, three in this example. Yeah. What's zero divided by anything? Um zero? Yeah. It, so does this mean it's an undefined slope? Well no this line here. This has a slope of zero. Yeah. The slope is actually zero. Okay. How do you know to do that? And the y-intercept is 8. So if we were to put this into slope-intercept form, if we were to plug it in, we have y equals 0, because my m is 0, so yeah. 0, x. And in this case, my y-intercept was, oops, sorry, I wrote 8. I meant to write 10. Yeah. <laughs> 10, sorry, yeah. plus 10. We can simplify this. What's zero times anything? Whatever the, we it's don't know. Zero. It's still going to be zero. So I can rewrite this as zero plus ten, or even simpler, y equals ten. Okay. Oh, yeah. Any single time you have a horizontal line, the equation will always look like this. It's always going to say y equals, and then wherever it intercepts, because it's oh. only think about it. The the line will only intercept. The y axis. The axis yeah, so if I. It's never going to reach yeah. the x. Yeah, exactly, because it's going horizontal. Examples, let's do the first one. What would be the equation of this green line? Automatic, we automatically know. So the y intercept is 6? Yeah, the y intercept here is 6, but we know that because all of these lines are horizontal, yeah. they don't have a rise. They're not rising, they're just flat across. So any horizontal line will always, always, always have a slope of zero. Okay, so when you plug it in, yeah. there's no x in your equation because zero times x is zero. So what's the equation of this line? Y, y equals, equals um, six. Yeah, because yeah. zero, x, m is zero, and zero times x is gone. Yeah. So it's just y equals six. This one would be y equals... Where's the intercept? Where does this line intercept? Um, so that's 0, 1, 2. Good. Uh, two. And what would be the equation of this line? It's going to be negative, so um, negative 3. Yeah, y equals? Negative 3. Negative 3. Oh, so it's all Right, so anytime you see an equation that just says y equals, you know yeah. it has to be horizontal because there's no slope. The okay. slope is 0. Sorry. Made with DoodleCast Pro.